welcome to Both Sides Book Club. Uh, this is our first episode and I'm Katie. And I'm Debbie. People have always said to us how similar we are in so many different ways and I think one of the things that we're so similar in is that we both love stories and we both love reading. I've always been a voracious reader. Ever since I was a young child, I've had my nose in a book. In fact, when I was a kid, I used to get into trouble all the time because I wouldn't do anything else except read. Um, for many years, I owned a bookshop in coastal um, Australia. And um, I guess you could say that Katie grew up surrounded by books. Yeah, and it's funny because I have so many memories of coming over to the bookshop after after school and seeing you finishing up work and talking with customers, um, you know, about lots of different stories and all the different genres of stories that there are. And I think for me, being around that, it was, a, it was I was listening and feeling like I was escaping and building different stories in my head. And I think that has actually shaped so much of who I am as a person now and, and the career that I, I take in in the creative industries because I feel like I'm constantly drawing from different elements of stories and, and building them up, which is, you know, such a beautiful thing that I had that experience from the bookshop. But you didn't actually always like reading. In fact, you found it quite difficult um, until you were um, well into your teens. Yeah, absolutely. I really struggled for, for many years reading. Um, I mean, correct me if I'm not wrong, but not so much when I was a little kid learning to read, yeah. but it was more like... As I was getting older, I felt like I was falling behind a lot of my classmates in terms of reading. Like if we had to read a book for English or whatever, I would dread it. The words used to always get mumbled up and I'd have to read books in a certain font size. Otherwise, it becomes really overwhelming for me and it, mm. it was a real turn off. But I think um, from being around in your bookshop and hearing you talking about different stories, I think that opened my eyes up to oh, actually, wow, that sounds like something I'd really want to read. Mm. Um, yeah. So you're right. I never used to really love it, but I think a sort of late teenager, early adult, I started to really think, okay, I've got to get through this. I've got to keep practising like anything. Mm. Um, and, yeah, now I feel like I can, I can really read books and mm. really enjoy them and um, I'm not as quick as... You, speedy pants <laughs> over here, can read a book in a... Okay, how long does it take you to read a book, really? Oh, it depends on the length of book, but um, but generally about four hours to read a novel. A whole novel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So on, on Sunday, <laughs> I read a book and it took me 10 hours. <laughs> of, that was great. Of constant that reading. Great. That's like the quickest I've ever read after practising for so many years. Oh, jeez. Well, not as good as that, but um, definitely a lot better. And I think the thing that I love now about reading and why I would encourage people, you know, if you do struggle with reading, is to keep at it because it's so cool to be able to share with friends or with family. Like I love being able to talk to you about, oh, my gosh, have you read this book? Um, what did you think about this? Or I had no idea that this was happening in the world at that time or, or whatever. And it's, it's really cool now, I think, that we have this language. And that, and that I think, was um, from having the bookshop. I think that was the, the thing that I enjoyed most. I love sharing um, my thoughts about what I've read. I love people coming to me and saying, oh, I want a book. What, yeah. what, what should I read? Yeah. Um, and, and, yeah, and books are there to be read, but they're there to be shared. And um, for me, I think that that is the beauty of any book club is um, being – given a book that you wouldn't necessarily choose yourself yeah. if you were faced with a row of books um, and opening up a new world and then being able to discuss, yeah, exactly. it, to discuss it with someone else. Yeah, exactly. And I think the cool thing about book clubs is the fact that exactly what you just said is that sometimes it'll encourage you to read something that you probably wouldn't have read before and it encourages you to sort of push through your usual genres, I guess, as well. 
Yeah, because people people do that. They know the authors they like. They know the kind of stories they mm. like because those are the ones that they've read before. But there's a whole world of books out there, and it's what I've always um, tried to do with with you mm. um, is suggesting other books that that you would like to read. So you're you're already in a book club, or you you've been in many book clubs actually. Yeah, I, I've yeah. never been in one. Yeah, but. Do you find that when you are meeting with your book club girls or group or whatever, that often when you're talking about a book, you'll have the same opinion or how, how's it how's it worked for you in the past? It varies enormously. In fact, sometimes we all absolutely love the book. Um, but to be honest, that makes for quite a boring discussion. Um, it's much <laughs> It's much more productive. Um, Gosh, yeah. we're doomed. If one if we have the same opinion, people say we're similar, and then we're, <laughs> and then we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be funny. Well, maybe, maybe it will. Um, but it's actually it, it's actually great to get diff- people's different people's perspectives because everybody has different life yeah, experiences. Right. Um, they read different things into the book. Yeah. So um, a good argument is actually great for a book club. Okay. Well, I'll make sure I bring my, <laughs> bring my boxing gloves to the book. <laughs> um, no, but it's true. I think, I think it's, you know, with anything, with, with movies or with, with paintings or with, you know, it's, you know. Music. It, music or whatever. It's subjective. People have different opinions and you're right. I think it's, it's cool when people have different conflicts or a different understanding cool and I hope that's what we yeah what one we do the, with our club one of the reasons I really like talking about um books with you mm. is that um to avoid a cliche is you bring a different generational perspective oh, to the, gen- the, the old, generational the thing. generation gap. okay all right uh, <laughs> that's well, what I we're signing up for guys generation talk <laughs> <laughs> not really, not really. Not really, not because really. no, because often we have very similar views, but yeah, it's true. Um, but I can't see through your eyes, yeah, so it's true. Um, it actually adds to to the book for me to be able to see it yeah. through through your eyes. That's so nice, um, and that's yeah. what we'd like to do with both sides book club yeah, is exactly. to encourage people of all ages to join and read with us yeah. and um, join in the conversation. For sure, for sure. And, um, you know, we would love to hear what you all think of the book and whether or not you think our opinions are too generational or too, <laughs> too opposing or whatever. Um, I think that's, you know, one of the, the reasons why, well, for me, I really wanted to do this with you because I feel like we have such good conversation about books and about stories and I'm often asking you for advice, you know, with a photo shoot or with a with a video of like, oh, well, you know, what do you think about this? And I think it's 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 really a cool thing to do to talk about stories and to encourage different perspectives on that and that for me I'd love to be able to bring you guys in with us and create a bit of a community that online and talks about books and I love your intuitive feel for things is that um is you know I think your ability to to read people and situations is is amazing and um I often get a real kick out of uh, out of the observations that that you make that oh you're gonna make um, me blush on camera <laughs> <laughs> like, no it's nice carry on yeah. what you're saying yeah um so with both sides book club um what we are hoping to do is to read a new book every two weeks yep every two weeks <laughs> And then we'll get together and we'll discuss the book. And um, in the meantime, we'll let you know, you guys know what the books are going to be. And we'd love you to join with us. With everything that's going on in the world right now with the coronavirus, I thought, okay, how can we, how can we get together with something that we love and create a community and connect with other people that also find storytelling as a way to escape? Um, yeah. And to me, it seemed like, you know, it made common sense just to be go, yeah. invite you guys to come online with us and talk with us. Because I think for me personally, when I'm reading all this stuff about Corona on the news, it can be super overwhelming. And I think my escape is to, okay, 
put the news down, put the devices away, put yeah, the phone totally. away and just pick up a, bit, a story that makes you feel good. And, and I think for me, I'd rather be investing my time into reading a beautiful story or even if it's a crime or just... I say the books aren't yeah, always going to be... No, the books no. are not always going to be nice, happy bring stories. The, bring, the juice, <laughs> bring the juicy books. <laughs> but... Um, you know, just a, a way to escape, a way to get into your own imagination. Um, and I think I want to encourage people to do that because I think, you know, especially as adults, we spend so much of our time thinking about adult stuff. And I think it's nice to be able to get back into your imagination and to, you know, just relax a little. And Yeah. And, you know, in these days where um, we're all... Um, practicing social distancing mm, and, exactly. is and isolation. Um, I think it's great if we can connect and books mm. are the most perfect um, form of connection. So um, we'd absolutely love you to join us. The biggest thing that I would want to encourage you guys to do, if, um, guys or girls to do, if you are reading with us, is to support support local businesses yeah abs absolutely um as a former bookseller and um as a book nut um please 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 support the book industry the local book industry the australian publishing industry um but above all of that please um support your local bookshop because they really are the heart of the community and um, they're doing it really, really tough. Yeah, and the bookshops have always brought people together and I think at times like this, this is what we need is we need people coming together and sharing something nice together. So what is the first book going to be that we're going to read together? Our first book is There Was Still Love by Favel Perrette. Favel is a beautiful Australian writer and this is her third novel. Incidentally, it's just won the Indie Book of the Year Award. It's set between Prague and Melbourne and it's the story of one family of sisters who were split over time and distance. It talks about relationships between the sisters, about mothers, and their children about grandparents, and I just absolutely loved it. Oh, it sounds really good and really appropriate for what's happening at the moment. I hope so. So, happy reading. We'll see you soon. One, two, three. And that's a wrap. <laughs>